for no person can adequately estimate the privileges he enjoys unless he have a reverent attitude toward the past. Those were the words of Reverend F. G. Ware, penned in his 1927 book, Scugog and Its Environs. And I think he has a point, because history shows us where we've come from, what we've progressed to, and what we've lost. And that's why The Standard is bringing you local history on North Durham. So on to today's episode, so why is it called Scugog? The name Scugog is actually an abbreviation. Records indicate a few variations of the name. Wayu Waskiwagog, Eshiagog, Shkugog, Shkuag, Shugog, and finally it was shortened to Scugog. Apparently, the continual shortening of the name was a sign of the busier times. Reverend F.G. Ware even joked that eventually we might just shorten it to Gog just to make it easier. Of of course, since Reverend F.G. Ware was a reverend, he would know that the name Gog has a negative biblical connotation. Considering how young Skugog is, it's kind of interesting that I've noticed a lot of different people seem to have a lot of different opinions as to why Skugog is called Skugog. So the first answer I found was from Wikipedia, which states, The name Skugog may be an Ojibwe word meaning marshy waters. Wikipedia also states, According to Place Names of Ontario by Alan Rayburn, Skugog is a Mississauga word meaning waves leaping over a canoe. Personally, I found both of those definitions a little bit confusing at first. See, I was a little confused why Skugog could be an Ojibwe word when the natives in the area are the Mississaugas, not the Ojibwe. Of course, upon a little more research, I learned something new, that the Mississaugas apparently come from the Ojibwe, which kind of makes that name make more sense. See, the other reason I was confused about the name is, why would it be called waves leaping over a canoe if the area was called Skugog before Skugog Lake existed? See, not a lot of people know that Skugog is an artificial lake. I know, the name artificial is a little confusing because that just makes me think it's made out of styrofoam or it's a plastic backdrop, but that's not what it means. It just means it was man-made. See, the word Skugog was used for the area even in the 1830s, and the lake didn't exist yet. So it kind of confused me as to why it would be called waves leaping over a canoe when there wasn't enough water for you to even use a canoe. See, this just shows how young and naive I am. Because when I researched it a little further, I realized that there was the Scugog Island and Scugog River before Scugog Lake. So I guess you could be taking your canoe through the Scugog River. Another possibility on the name, however, the name Scugog may be an Ojibwe word meaning marshy waters. To me, this made a little bit more sense because even before the lake was there, there was a shallow marshy area. So that could be it too. So whether it has to do with waves leaping over a canoe or a shallow marshy land, it seems that whatever way you look at it, Scugog Lake is sort of involved even before it was a lake. And by the way, I'll explain that whole artificial lake thing in another video that'll come later. So keep checking back to our channel. So what do you think? Is it waves leaping over a canoe or shallow marshy land or something else? I'd love to know what you've heard about the meaning of the word Skugog. Just tell me in the comments below. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I hope we all got to learn something together today and I'd love to hear what you think of the show in the comments below. If you'd like to find out more about the history of Skugog or our surrounding areas, just keep checking back to this channel. But if you don't have the patience for that, then check out the Skugog Memorial Library. They have lots of books about any of the places in the area. Really recommend it. Have a great week, guys.